Hello everybody, it's Bunny Simulator here, and welcome back to episode 3 of the 1.13.2 survival. Today I have got some, well, interesting stuff I've done. I've spent quite a few hours gathering resources, getting bits together, to finally start piecing together our auto, well, our auto item sorter. During that time I have also managed to get a lovely, well, plan out where I'm going to be laying out our lovely mob dropper, which should not take too long once I get the resources, which would take a long time. That's weird. I've also got a huge collection of lovely turtles coming along here. They break quite a bit, and yeah, I'm not sure how to get it, but I'll eventually try and figure out how to get that underwater breathing helmet. But then on the other side note, I've been working, I've gone over and chopped down many trees, done many hours mining, and this is what I've got so far out of all of our resources. If you can look at this stuff here, I'm about to show you what we're going to be working on. Was it a zombie? Hello? Why, why are you guys here? Oops, sorry sheep. Go away. Okay, so what I've started working on is a lovely digging out this area down here. So we're going to be putting in the nether door here very shortly. And so you can just walk straight through. We're going to have our input chucked in here for a chest. And you're going to walk down these couple of layers. And you're going to enter the lovely storage room, which is going to be built right here. Very, very simple to do. I'm just using the normal traditional sorter. I've got it all planned out already. It's going to go down quite far down that way. Wrap back around and come around here, which should be quite interesting. But first off for this episode, we need to go into the nether. Yes, the nether. It's episode 3, we're going into the nether, and so far it should be quite good. All we need to do is get ourselves a lovely, it should be an ores, a lovely piece of flint, and a lovely piece of iron. That's all we should need. And then we can go into the nether to get our quartz, and what we really need for this item sort of. Time to go into the nether. Hopefully we have a temple right next to when we go on. Do I, hang on, do I have a good pickaxe with us? Let's go through. Lovely, lovely loading. It's probably going to lag quite a bit here, so sorry about that. Because it's always lags first time I load up new areas and that there. Maybe the chimney go deeper. Um, yeah, sorry for this lag spike and that there, people. Let's just ooh, love it when you log load a new world. Sorry for all this lag. Oh, you can clearly see it. Ooh. Hopefully, there's a monument over this way. If not, I don't. I'm not looking for a monument at the moment anyway. This is actually quite a decent spot to build like a nice nether hub in that here eventually. Even though that might not probably happen for a very long time. So another good side thing about coming and getting quartz in the nether is that you're about to get lots and lots of XP. Which would be good because I want to try and get myself some more lovely, better tools. Is that, is that, there doesn't seem to be anything around here. What is that, something down there? No, nope, it's just lava flowing down everywhere. I'll come back and check around for places and that later on. Or come and have a look around the nether and make up pathways and that. So let's go ahead, and I think I need, where's my written down piece of paper thing? Oh, I'm just going to go for, I think that's 18 that I needed, whoops. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to do a quick little speed up video of collecting, well I'm going to click a whole lot of them near the quartz and that. I'm only getting one per thing. Okay, I'll be back with you guys once I have got myself, let's say, two stacks. Oh, a stack and a half. Yep. Be back with you guys very shortly. Stack and a half, it didn't take too long, did it? So now I just need to quickly look around for some lovely soul sand just so I can get myself a lovely. Well, I just need to get a, uh, a thing set up 
what's it called, a little water elevator system, so I can go up and down a lot more faster in the... That was a dumb idea, that was really dumb doing that, okay, lucky I didn't kill myself just then. Anyway, I said a couple bits of this here, and I'll be sorted. I'm pretty sure soul sand helps you go up, maybe. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how it all works. I'll find out eventually when I when I go to the place. But yeah, I'll come round and have a look around here later on for a lovely little nether fortress. Because I want to really try and get a beacon very, very quickly. And I, if I as soon as I find a nether fortress, I'll probably just record like a big time lapse of me running around like a nutcase trying to kill all of those lovely withers. Because I want to try and get a wither get the nether boss very shortly. Sorry for the lag spike again if that it does occur. So far it doesn't look like it has occurred. Let's hop up over here and let's grab all our supplies of what we need. So I'm going to chuck that down in there. I'm also collecting normal shells to try and get an underground beacon. I also went over and found a lovely swamp biome and got some slime balls got a couple ender pills and also found a slime chunk biome which is just down below here somewhere also met my first phantoms but i went to bed straight away because i did not want to fight them and i don't want to experience them all i do is hear them because i want to experience that on camera eventually just so that i can see and go oh this is what a phantom's like beautiful so now what i need to do is i need to make i think it's 18 of these I need to go ahead and grab some lovely cobblestone can I do I need some redstone for that there as well to get the comparators oh okay I thought 16, 17, 18 of those there I want to put that back in there and I want to grab this bits of wood, these chests here. I want to go into the mob drops, drop that in there, drop that in there, and I need to create 18 times 2, 36 I think it is. I've probably done my maths incorrect, but I'm just going to do like a random amount of these. Let's just do that there, hopefully that's enough, and I'm actually going to use, yeah, i use these for the background. So, everyone should really know how to make one of these item sorters, are quite simple, please let me go through. Yes, perfect, so far so good, I want to get the chests, and I think it is, I think it's great how you can just get these chests and go right next to each other, except when you hold down shift it does that, but it saves a lot more resources compared to having to just, hang on. Yes, that. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. So all you have to do. <laughs> this is going to get a bit of a pain. So you're going to go along, and these are the first row of chests. So they need to just. Oh, I'll get eventually used to doing this somehow. So that one there, that, that. Oops, that, 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 that. Hang on, those are supposed to go eight, isn't it? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That needs to be joined up. So those go along because I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try and limit how many hoppers I use for the first go. So to do the hoppers, all you need to do is go along, and I'm just gonna use a temporary block for this. I think it's like this here. Yes, it is. So these go along like this here. Let's. Get rid of that block there. We get rid of this, get rid of this. We have our lovely hoppers get inserted going along the front here. And then one dropping down. Front, down. Front, down. Front, down. Front, down. Front, down. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this correct. I'll find out in a second if I have done this incorrect. So let's just try and put that there. You go front, front, down, down. Then you come along behind the back and you go ahead and you insert a platform for these hoppers for the comparators to go on top of. You place down your comparators, not that way, they're supposed to go down the other way, but I'm going to have to go like this here, like this here, very simple. 
just jump up and down going along like that like so then we mine this one here get rid of this block here go along oops one two three right there very simple and then we get our lovely redstone torch one two three four five six seven eight get rid of that place that down that goes along there that goes there and then we have our lovely redstone repeater that goes in behind the back then you go along and cover this entire area in the blocks and then it's got like sort of like a little t-shape that goes along very simple and easy design to do and it works pretty much well probably never stop working and then you get your redstone dust go along very quick very simple and this is a design where I'm not exactly sure who's actually created it now it's been around for quite a long time and what you have to do is go on I don't have an anvil do I I don't even own an anvil okay I'm just gonna do just one of these because I know it's gonna Ooh. I don't have enough iron to do this do I one two yeah there's no way so what you do is you simply get an anvil and you rename some certain items and then you go ahead and you place in here you'll have they're called placeholders so you have your one cobblestone here and your placeholder items go along so this here could be saying one two three ABC just random numbers so if this netherrack goes along it does not get picked up and then as soon as it reaches a certain amount of numbers in here so I'll go along like this with netherrack chuck this down and it'll start filtering through the item into the chest down to I think it's 42 41 and this is what you do for the entire system going along adding in the different blocks and then it will drop down let's get rid of that it will drop down into this chest here but I know what I've done wrong now I'm going to be going ahead long very shortly and I'm going to drop this entire system down by one because this can I drop it down by one? No, I need to move it back by one because these hoppers are supposed to be going to here to go down and round so must make it a little more nice and tidy. I'm gonna this is gonna be a big huge work in progress doing this, getting it all nice and ready. So well well yeah. I'm probably gonna do this I'm gonna be cutting and doing this in and out between between the episodes anyway. And I'm gonna eventually have these all sorted, so I think I'm gonna have cobblestone, dirt and then sand the three main things we're going to have then we're going to have my ores going along and then once we get along we're going to have different types of blocks coming through but i need to dig out this whole area just a little bit more and i think we can go down just a little bit longer as well so what i'm going to do right now is i need to go ahead and get that there i need to harvest go and collect a whole lot of sand as well so i can make a whole lot of glass because i want to get my lovely drop down things sorted so I'm going to have a big glass centre going down and I'm going to have this covered around in some other mis miscellaneous block. We're going to have a drop down chute here, which I'm going to do full water coral columns things with the soul sand and that. And also, yeah, I'm going to start gathering resources for this lovely farm because I want to get this done. And good news, I, I located a lovely village which got villages in there and my idea is to try and I'll have an iron farm out here somewhere so we're gonna have the center island with a lovely what's it called lighthouse on top there we go we're gonna have a storage underneath we're gonna have a mob farm over there and I've also laid out an area let's just kill the, this guy off before he kills me I'm gonna get ourselves a lovely oh there's a lot of drowned here I'm going to get right here is going to be the location of our lovely kelp farm which should be very good and also I'm, I've got I've got my plans sorted on what I'm going to be working on and since I last announced in the last episode I think I said that I want to get to the end within the next 10 episodes we'll buy 10 episodes I think that was a really unrealistic target since this is episode 3 and I haven't accomplished that much already. Ooh. 
Is that a bit of gold? So the kelp farm shouldn't take too long to do at all. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue working on getting this item sort of ready. And when it's done, or when two, I'm going to get two sections done. When it's done, I'll be back with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds, but, but it probably will be da hours or days by the time I get back. See you guys then. Okay, people, it has been a while, but I believe our one side of our item sorter is now completed. As you can see, we've got our lovely symbols on what is going to be in each chest here. And just a little bit, little less chest here. And then we've got a lovely, all our items here, which we can get. Sorry about this lag spot just here. I don't know why, but as soon as my computer hits 9pm, it starts lagging out, which is very weird. I've got some real problems with it. I'm going to slowly work on doing all this over this side because it's going to take quite a while. But then if you look in behind here, I think I heard a skeleton just before. No, I need to also work on getting myself some more hoppers. But if you hop up here, just check there's no skeleton here. I've still got to configure that in down there by the looks of it. But as you can see here, we've got our lovely item transportation system starting up here. Yeah, I need to just put, go around and put in... Oops. I'll do that shortly. But how I've gone through and did them just like this here. Nice lub sub. There, but I need to go through and because... Come on. Let's get through here. I'm trying to get this episode to speed 20 minutes if it doesn't do the lag spike. But I need to get a bit of ice support here so all the items can just lovely just make their way along. But yeah, I'll be back once I go to a mountain biome, which I've already got marked down. And then I'll get some lovely ice because I've also got myself a lovely silk touch pickaxe now. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here, back in the spot once I get the ice. See you then. Okay people, I was coming to look at the different coordinates. My coordinates that I was looking for were, were negative 737, but negative 737 for the Z, but I sort of misread my coordinates and have found a packed ice biome. Is it like... I'm assuming that they look like icebergs, but packed ice is pretty good. These are all probably, it's good that I found this, I suppose. I can chuck an either pool around here so I can easily get to it. But now I can just come through. Hang on, is that, is that blue ice over there? I think that's what that stuff's called. Now let's just quickly get my lovely silk touch patch that I managed to get before. Blue ice, okay, I don't want blue ice, I just want regular, plain, old ice. Might as well get a bit of it while I'm here anyway. Okay, people, I'm now back, and we've got the one little bit there. And now we have pretty much completed this lovely little farm. I've gone ahead and gone around the corner, added in some extra chests for any other bits that are... Please stop lagging, I'm so sorry about this, I don't know why it's doing it. I think I need to just restart my computer. But anyway, that there has finished off this item sorter so far. Let's just quickly get down this block here. Pop around here. And I'm just going to go go ahead and I'm going to slowly empty out my storage system. And I'm going to slowly work on finishing this here. So yeah. I'm just going to hop over here to get a lovely little view. And change it if I know. And take this helmet off. Oh, hang on, let's just back up here, eh? Hope everyone has enjoyed. Hope everyone has enjoyed this episode so far. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit longer than usual, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy the episode. And I'm going to leave you guys off with some clippets of what happened during this episode. Even one of when I managed to somehow get a lovely trident, which was beautiful, and found some interesting chests in that there. Plus some other snippets that they will insert. Sorry about these lag spikes. They did not occur during the filming. Sorry about those lag spikes. They did not occur during the filming. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in episode 4. Coming very shortly. Well, once I actually make it and that so far I haven't. But yeah, we'll be working on getting ourselves a trident farm. So yeah, thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed.
Goodbye. Okay, so we've got our eight scoot here. I'm going to see, I'm going to quickly run over and see if I can manage to change it into a helmet or not. As you can see, I've done a little bit of enchanting to get me some little bit more better tools. See, I've got an enchanting table over there. Turtle shell. Perfect. And. Does that affect water breathing? Okay. So, does that mean I can be underneath like water forever now? Let's just quickly scoot over here and see if I start drowning. Does it repair itself though? Okay, so it gives me 10 more seconds extra. That's a little bit handy, I suppose. I'm assuming you can probably enchant it.